sometimes in life, it's not about how far you've come, it's about how far you're gonna go. So here we are standing in the Hannaford parking lot. Welcome to Cooking with Harrison, part three. So, you ever, you know, having that special someone over and you don't know what to cook? Well, my friend, you're in the right place. Cause today, I will be showing you how to cook lamb in a blankie. You're gonna boil the patata. So in order to do that, you gotta cut it. Now remember, always cut the sticker off, unless you're into eating stickers. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm really not into eating stickers, so you just gotta you just gotta cut it, you know. No one heard that. So here we have the chopped up batata. If you follow me over here, we will now put the batata in the pan bowl thing like this. And then after that, you're gonna take some um, um, some tin can and you're gonna open it. You're just gonna avocado oil, good for the bones. And add some, a little bit, just dash her in there so the potatoes don't stick to each other because it's always unfortunate when things stick to each other. Here we have a daikin, an albino radish. Get those nice, nice, uh, clean, smooth cuts, nice and straight. And the end of the sticker, you can just check. Then you can dice them up. Diced. After you've diced your dickons, you're gonna hit it, hit the pan. Eh, about medium heat, give or take. A little bit of avocado oil. Make sure you get that all nice swirled around. Then dake it in. We got some um, uh, some other fruit or vegetable. Don't know what it's called, but we're just gonna run with it. I'm gonna dice it up nicely. Tesseract. I don't have Tesseract very often, but when I do, I have it with shallots. So I'm gonna throw the, the tarragon, or the, uh, the uh, whatever infinity stone in there, with these, with the shallots, and hit a little, a little bit more avocado oil in there. And I'm just gonna give it a nice little mix. Eldoffs. Today's episode of Cooking with Harrison is brought to you by Eldoff's Tenderizer. If you want to tenderize some meat, this is the tenderizer for you. You know, the key is you really just gotta get in there. And after, you hit it. with some Kinder's brown sugar rub. You know, it's usually a good idea to take the seal off. Because, you know, if you don't take the seal off, there's nothing coming out. Nice brown sugar. Pillsbury. Pillsbury dough sheets. 
So you can take one of these, unwrap it, and then, it's the tricky part, and have gentle hands. You can just rip it and it looks good. And then you want to unravel it. And basically, you just want to wrap it. Wrap it up. A lamb in a blanket. A lamb. In a blankie. I thought the day would never come. So next step, we're gonna put a little bit of uh, a little bit of oil on this. It doesn't. Let it stick to the pan. I'm gonna bring it over. It. Just chopped off some pieces of the rutabaga, as you can see. She's a rock. Built like a Chevy, not a Ford. So uh, we'll dice this up, you know, whatever. And, uh, and then next we'll dice up one of these. This is a red pepper, if you don't know. And then after that, we'll dice up one of these. This is a, uh, a star, star fruit. And then we'll dice up one of these. This is a red or a purple lettuce. However you want, we'll cut that up, and then after that, we'll cut up some albino strawberries, and then, oh yeah, these things, this is a, um, I don't know, a tomato or something, you just cut it in half, like that, it's fine, um, then we might get fancy, throw some cranberry sauce on, and then we got, uh, we got some vinegar dressing and some cherries and yeah that's how you make a uh, salad so yeah aloe nature's sunburn cream going in our salad That is disgusting. Buns. Who doesn't love buns? It's the climax of this uh, cooking endeavor. I'm gonna warm up the buns on the old George Foreman. Got this for three bucks at Walmart, or I mean Goodwill. Now we'll get the salad on here. All right, and if you come this way, it's almost ready. So in life. It's usually about the journey, not the destination. When you're cooking, it's all about the destination. Because me, I've slaved for hours over this meal, showing you, my friend, how to cook it. So hopefully, when you cook it for that special someone, they're like, wow, this is the best thing I've ever had. And if they don't like it, well, that's too bad. Because you can't tell me if 
you look at that and you say that doesn't look like the best lamby lamb in a blanket you've ever seen. How do you live in life wrong? I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of terracotta on the top here. Take a nice cut. As you can see, the lamb is cooked perfectly. And then obviously, the last thing to make this meal complete, my pie. Because ladies and gentlemen, life is not complete. This is the best lamb in a blanket I've had all day. Yeah, I wouldn't make that salad, honestly. It tastes like shit. Well, folks. <clears throat> Hope you enjoy this installment. Cooking with Harrison. So next time, it is what it is.